All right, bored out of my mind making this video uh, from for the Roomba iRobot we got a few days ago. Used it a few times, and I gotta say it's pretty cool. So if you have a German Shepherd dog and you know about the uh, pet hair, uh, really excellent. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Uh, you do have a phone app you could turn it on and set time and all that. But for now, let's just go ahead through it. Right now. It shows me full battery, and it's on its home base. Go ahead and hit it again. And here we go. It's a pretty cool machine. Again, if you have, uh, if you have a dog, especially a German Shepherd, you know what I'm talking about, the hair. It's incredible. So I've used this thing for a few days. There's Quinn, he don't seem to mind it too much. <laughs> he just walks away. Uh, it does a great job. It really does. Scrubs the hair up real good. Every time you uh, empty the basket, uh, you can see the difference. Uh, comes with this barrier. I recommend using it because if you have real thick carpet, uh, the battery life is 90 minutes and uh, it has a hard time doing a whole house. Now, if you have hardwood floors, tile, uh, it should be real easy for it. But our house has a lot of thick carpet. Uh, it's a pretty cool machine. It knows uh, where to go. It kind of maps out the room. A uh, couple of bad spots I noticed because it's four inches and it kept getting stuck right here. So I put some weights there. And on the other side in this room, again, on, uh, on our couches, it kept getting stuck just under the couch. So kind of want to watch it for the first few times to see if it gets stuck anywhere. Does a great job. Somehow it knows how to map out the rooms and it really picks up the dog here. So let's let it run for a little bit and come back to it. It's working pretty good kind of weird how it knows how to map out the house and there's my boy because of him see I had to get that because of you okay it's coming into the kitchen this is where all the dog hair piles up too again if you got a dog you know what I'm talking about Again, with the battery life being only 90 minutes, you want to use this barrier it comes with. You can set it for a round barrier or a straight wall. Because again, with real thick plush carpet, it'll kill the battery before it does the whole house. So this way I know I can do half the house with the charge uh, that's on it now. And as the robot starts to lose its charge, it will go back to home. Okay, it just came out from under that chair. Did a real nice job. Uh, again, it really does a great job with the dog hair, crumbs, or anything you drop in the kitchen. There's that barrier, so it won't cross that barrier. See how it stops, so it knows. You don't want it to go uh, down the hallway, so I don't want it to run out of battery because of the thick carpet throughout the house. But on floors like these, it would easily do uh, a whole house in 90 minutes. Well, depending on how big your house is. Uh, takes about two hours to fully charge again. So you can see when it gets onto the thick carpet, man. But it does a great job. It really scrubs up the hair. See, it knows that barrier, so it won't go past that. See, she really rolls good on the uh, tile. Alright, let's 
continue on. Now it's over on this chair. Does a great job. This is where I'll, I get a lot of hair because this is what Quinn's uh, food bowl is. I recommend picking up the food bowl. I mean, you can tell already the hair that it's picked up just from this little bit of time it's running. sensors all over the machine and I do like that it will go back to home when it needs to be charged again. Still in the kitchen doing a great job. as well use something like this does a great job I'm telling you it does a great job with hair it's almost done with the kitchen well I put a bumper here so it don't get stuck under the couch it kept up it's coming in the uh, other room now so it's done with the kitchen now it's in our uh, our front room here. Again, I got a tile floor here that gets really hairy. Quinn always piles up a lot of hair in this corner waiting to get out. So with a long-haired German Shepherd, I recommend this thing. Roomba iRobot does a great job around like uh, couches. It does a real nice cleaning, especially with the brush that it has that picks up onto the trim. So somehow again, it maps out the uh, house and you just let it go. nothing to do so you see I'm bored out of my mind but I read all about it and my honest opinion it really does work good this is where Quinn likes to uh, lay down so it really does a nice job getting up all that dog hair you'll know what I mean once you pull the uh, basket out at the end onto the tile you can see the difference when it gets onto the thick shaggy carpet compared to tile that's why uh, you can only do half a house if you got real thick carpet but if you got a lot of wood or tile floors oh it'll even work even better see how it just kind of scrubs and gets under the couch real good pretty quiet and like I said I really do like that it'll go back to its charger or like I say on the phone app you could send it home you can set up uh, different automatic times for it to come on uh, it does a great job with paw prints too that that what drives me crazy too is all uh, Quinn's paw prints okay let's let it go Okay, another thing is it don't really suck up the cords or anything. See, so I've got a cord under there. So it kind of handles the cords real nice. Uh, on the phone app, it'll actually tell you how much battery life it has left. So it's still in the uh, front room doing its thing.
at least that's the only good thing today. Now we need to go up. Okay, it's still working on the front room. It kind of went into the living room, but it's still coming back to the front room. It's still not done in here. Uh, a bad thing is you'll see the uh, wheels like on the carpet. So if you're having company or something like that, I'd recommend using your normal vacuum to get a better pattern. But for a normal operation to pick up the hair, uh, excellent. Our carpet's so uh, soft, you can see the, the wheel lines. But for cleaning, excellent. Because I thought I'd vacuum with my uh, with my regular vacuum, and uh, what this picks up, the other one doesn't. I'm amazed with. Again, it handles the cords pretty good. Don't suck them in or anything. Looking good. And I'll show you the basket when I'm done. I mean, I vacuum all the time. And uh, just overnight, with Quinn running around the house, it's amazing how much hair a German Shepherd all year round will lay in your house. So again, if you're a German Shepherd owner, this is excellent. Again, it does his spot here. It's where he likes to lay down. And as far as it's pretty quiet. So basically you need to uh, watch it a few times to make sure it don't get stuck in certain places. Put some barriers or block some stuff up. So watch it the first couple times and you'll know what I mean. Then you can just trust it to, do, uh, to go by itself. You don't have to worry about it getting stuck. Because that's the problem, they get stuck in certain, certain spots. doing a great job still working on this room uh, if you do have stairs it does have sensors where it's not supposed to drop off a cliff uh, I don't have stairs so I don't know if that works or not but it has that feature on it too The home base is under that table over there, so when it, when I see the home light flashing, uh, we'll show it going to home. Looks good. Okay, Quinn switched rooms. He knows the Roomba's on, so he doesn't bother the Roomba. You don't mind it, do you? It's because of you, all that hair. You get hair everywhere. And, he, and these paw prints. Okay, doing a good job in this room. We're going to keep an eye on it to uh, show you how when the home light flashes, uh, it'll go back to the base under there. So you don't got to worry about uh, picking it up and uh, putting it on the charger. So far, the room looks excellent. Still got a little time left get this room done. Let's go check on the Roomba. Oh, it's coming back in here. So apparently it just knows every little inch to go to. It's weird. Uh, on top of the machine it will actually show you a battery uh, light will start to blink when it starts to get, you know, starts to get low. It goes from orange to red. Then the home light will flash. Uh, to know it'll start to search to go home. Room looks great. Still got a couple more spots I see in there to do. But then we'll empty the basket when I'm done. So you can tell I'm bored out of my mind. under there. Oh, 
why I put this candle here because I don't know, it seemed like it wanted to spin in circles right here. I forgot to say that. I was like, what the hell's up with that? So I put that little candle thing there and it seemed to have helped. So again, you need to watch it to see when certain areas, you know, the robot, I don't know, gets confused. But uh, I got it figured out now and uh, you'll see at the end when it's done, it'll just go right back to its base. It knows it won't fit, so it just turns around and comes back, so that's cool. So they don't get stuck on stuff like that. So that, that's awesome, so they'll get inside of here. Okay, my, the home light button is flashing. So I, I kind of got it. The battery symbol is orange. So I think it's going to start searching to go home. Okay, see how that home light is blinking? Uh, uh, battery symbol is orange. going to her base and now it's uh, automatically charging so you can see the battery when you get to that level you'll see the home light come on and it'll head to home so you won't, you don't have to charge it so there you go, the iRobot. On my next video, I'll show you how it goes underneath the beds. That's another excellent thing. If you've got a bed that's four inches or taller from the floor underneath, it'll go right under it. And as you know, with a dog like I have, the hair. Thanks for watching. The Roomba iRobot. So as it's charging, It'll show you that light. And to empty the basket, it's real simple. You just press this button. This tray comes out. Look at the hair. And I vacuum all the time. Look at that. So again, you think your vacuum is working good. Try this thing out. Look at this. So you pop this button. Look at the hair. Let me set the camera down. Okay, it comes with a little filter here. Uh, look at look at the hair still inside. So there you go. Uh, proof is in your basket here. Just slide it back in. And boom, you're done. Uh, if you want to come up to it on your phone app or you just touch clean, it'll show you that's still charging. That will turn green when it's done.